Okay, folks, this video is basically how to tune the power on your bike. Your bike is already programmed, your control is already programmed, your egg ride is already programmed um, out of the box. After you install it, you should be able to go for a ride, turn this on, and basically spin the motor. And you can adjust your from eco, eco to power right here from these from this button. You hit the M, you're in eco. If you hit the M again, which is this middle button, you're in sport. But if you have a BMS that has a battery that has not been bypassed, it may cut out on you. And the reason it's cutting out on you is because the battery is saying, hey, I cannot take that current, it shuts down. And so it may be frustrating. Uh, not every BMS power is the same on the battery. Some cut out a little early, some give you more current and uh, cut out later, but uh, there's a way to tune that. That's why you have to download the app and then uh, adjust your settings. Okay, so I've downloaded the app and I've connected the uh, connected the app to the egg writer and it's connected. As you can see, there's a little uh, radio button on the top in the middle right next to voltage it's like a circle with parentheses that means you're connected to the egg writer before doing anything in the power settings so the way you get there is you go to let me show you from the beginning there's these three dashes you hit there and you go up here then you go to ASI settings and you read these you read these first now this bike this is a X Segway X160, and the settings right now are two kilowatts and 3,400, or 3.4 kilowatts, or two, two, two kilowatts and 3.4 kilowatts, or 2,000 watts and 3,400 watts under max throttle power. So if my bike is cutting out at when I have it on sport mode level nine, always test on sport mode level nine, because if, you set it up right on sport mode level nine, well, the lower settings are not gonna cut out. So you go down and you go down to what has battery current and you go down by 5%. Go off for a ride and test it to see, to make sure that the battery doesn't cut out on you. If it keeps going down, uh, cutting out, then keep going down in, in current. And that will uh, reduce the amount of current that you're pulling from the battery. Obviously you're reducing power as well, um, but once it stops cutting out, then you can start going up by 1% or 2% to get right up to the limit of maximum power that your battery can provide. So that's a, a way to, um, to adjust. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So here I'm at uh, battery current 100%. Let's say it's cutting out. I'm gonna go down to 95%. I'm gonna write those settings. And remember, after you write the settings, you have to power this off and power it back on. I'm gonna close the app and read again to make sure that those settings took. I'm going to read. And as you can see, it says 95%, so the settings did take. Then I go for a test ride at level nine, sport mode level nine, the highest level, and see if it cuts out. If it doesn't cut out, I'm fine. Pretty much that's the maximum power that I can take. If I wanna take it up to the limit, I'll go to 96%. Maybe go up a hill, making, making sure it doesn't cut out. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you, you, uh, you adjust the battery settings especially when your battery is cutting out. Another issue is the um, throttle of the Saran Segway. And the, the digital one is very unreliable. It goes out. I've literally had three of them go out on me while testing on the bench. This is a Magura. I replaced it on this particular bike. And uh, I'm gonna post a video on how to test your throttle. If you're on your bike and everything is on, the egg rider is on and your bike is not going anywhere it's probably your throttle your throttle is going out 
these throttles from the Saran Segway, they go out just by you looking at them. That's how bad they are. Some bikes, a lot of bikes, just are dead on arrival too. Um, so I'm gonna post a video on how to test the throttle. If you have a multimeter, because you should have one, if you installed our kit and recommended a multimeter so you can test your wiring diagram. In the video, we showed you how to do that. Um, test your throttle. If, you're, if your kit is on and, and you've installed it and everything's fine um, and your controller's on. By the way, I'm gonna show you how to test, see if your control actually turns on. Um, I'll do that right now. Uh, turn off the egg grater. Uh, with the CYC app, CYC, open that up. Hit the Bluetooth icon. <clears throat> and hit e-bike, not dirt e-bike, e-bike. It doesn't highlight, just hit connect. All right, it's connected. It's, uh, if you see your voltage, battery voltage, that means your controller is actually connected and turned on. That means that it's not a controller that's not turning on, it's your throttle um, that's probably uh, not, not working or, or just stopped, it's, it's malfunctioning. Um, check out the video in the link below to test your throttle so that it, uh, so that it works correctly. Uh, finally, if um, you're going and you lose power, but the battery stays on, that means that you need to tune your throttle. Um, if you follow the process below, um, while you're testing your throttle, you need to write down the voltage readings in the off position and the voltage readings in the fully open position and uh, basically email us those that information and then we'll send you a, uh, uh, a file that you can install with the CYC app um, to tune your throttle correctly, assuming your throttle is working. If you do the test below in the video and your throttle is not working, then you need to get a new throttle or fix it. Um, we recommend the uh, Magura or the Domino. The Magura has three wires, the Domino has five. So with the Magura, it's easy to install because there's only three wires. And even before you install it, test the new throttle before you even install it and write down those settings. Hopefully this helps.